Hey guys, so it is Friday afternoon, it is chill time, and we are here for the From My Desk series. Just my chance to sit down and kind of chat with you guys in a very informal manner. You get to see my messy desk, and I really just kind of ramble until I pick up on something that I want to talk to you guys about. And I think what I want to talk with you guys about today is something that is kind of well, it's always near and dear to my heart when uh, whatever it is I pick for these topics, but it's particularly near and dear to my heart because I had to do a training earlier today and it's a group coaching call that I do for the Stay in Business Club and this was one of our topics that I got a bunch of emails from the business owners who are part of the club saying, Stephanie, how do you stay focused in business? How do you keep your business moving forward when the world is crashing around you? And I think this is a really good topic because let's be honest, it doesn't matter if you're a business owner or if you are a sales rep or if you're just a person out there, at some point in your life, the world is like going to crash down around you and it's gonna really freaking suck. Like it's really hard to keep moving forward at your, at your job, at work, in your business, you know, uh, with relationships when everything is going wrong. And you know, this happened for me recently where it just seemed like every time we turned around, something new was thrown on my plate. You know, uh, someone acting like a child trying to drag me into this super underhanded, childish argument. And then someone else coming over and, you know, my car ending up in the shop. And then this happened and that happened. And then my horse got sick and this happened. And then in business, this happened and this canceled and this did. And it's just like, oh my gosh. How do you keep going? How do you keep moving when it gets down that far? Because holy freaking guacamole, it's tough. So what I talked about today to the, the people on the call was the importance of, first of all, knowing what your goals are. Because when life gets tough, when things start crashing around you, the truth of the matter is that what's going to keep you going is your focus on your future and on why you're pushing through those problems. So I talked about how every single morning I sit down and it doesn't matter what I'm going through. I sit down and I'm writing down my goals every single morning. And there are always different goals. Like I don't sit there and I don't write, you know, I'm going to lose five pounds. I'm going to be a millionaire. I'm go I don't write the same stuff over and over. I write down different goals all the time. This is an idea I got from Grant Cardone, uh, where he goes in and just writes down whatever it is that's front and foremost in his head. And it's not a set number of goals. It's just what's in my mind. And I write it down first person, present tense. So I write down, you know, I have a private jet. I am worth $10 billion. I have X, I have Y, Scheller Enterprises is, you know, whatever it is because it, it it works with your brain. See, our brains don't know the difference between past, present, and future. Our brains only know what we tell them. This is the cool thing. I'd have to look it up, but there was a study done at like Harvard or Yale or one of those guys where they studied the human brain and the human brain couldn't tell the difference between what it was being told was happening and what was actually happening. It's kind of cool. So you, you write your goals down in this present tense method. And so it gets you kind of reconnected to why you're pushing through like this. Now, the second thing I did, because that's not enough, you know, when the world is crashing down, when everything is happening and life is going to hell in a handbasket, just sitting here and writing your goals isn't going to get you anywhere. That's like sitting in the corner and like, like, you know, the insane kid just sitting in the corner, just, you know, repeating whatever to themselves. Okay. So, so you, you want to have something more than just that. And what I teach people to do is to know what your baseline is in your business. Now your baseline is, for those of you guys who haven't seen, I've got a video on it on my YouTube channel, you have to check it out. But if uh, you, you've got the baseline, and the baseline is everything that you do that's producing the result you're producing. So it may be something like um, posting to social media channels daily, attending two networking events a week, um, recording three videos, running five sales calls, you know, calling 25 people, whatever it is, all these things that you do repeatedly that bring you success. And so I tell everyone you gotta have a baseline, but when the world starts to crash around you, you also have to know what it is that you are going to pull back to. If everything's happening, you can't necessarily complete everything that's on your list to do. And so what I do is I have my baseline, but then I have like my survival mode baseline where I literally just sit there and these are the four or five things that I'll keep doing that'll keep my business moving, but not necessarily going to, um, you know, 
it's going to keep the business moving. It's going to allow me to work a little bit on the business and keep that going so my life doesn't crash and burn. But at the same time, I get to handle and focus on these other things that happen because let's be honest, life happens. And if you've watched any of my other videos, understand this. Your life is worth the effort that it will take to make it great, but effort is something you put out. It's a verb. It is work, and you're gonna have to work to be successful at your life. So have a plan because it will happen. Stuff goes crazy, and when you know how to handle it, it becomes much easier to get past that and get back to doing the great things that you love to do.